Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We've awoken from our attempted assassination using the Orchid by Viktor Marchenko. Doesn't seem to have worked with us though. They tossed us into the pile of, well, I guess trash. And we woke up. Sucks to be them. So let's explore the Garm facility in the Alps. What are they doing here? Probably developing some sort of super weapon. What happened to that box? I just stepped on it and it went flying into the air. I love the change of scenery. can remotely control industrial fans. At least this one. That's cool. If I wanted to go through there, which, you know what? What the heck? Let's go. It's cooler than taking the ladder, isn't it? Is that going to, like, do a test fire on this thing? I don't know if I'd want to do that. Wouldn't that get everybody's attention? Looks like an experimental engine or something. All cargo not loaded by 0400 will be terminated in the burn. Billion Dollar Daydreams, part three of Devin James' biographical series on Nathaniel Brown. By 2005, the rapidly expanding Santo group was experiencing an unexpected and disorganized tumble of success. Yet the stigma of corruption and a bad reputation for the environment continued to dog the French giant. Chaos in the boardroom grew worse with the arrest and public trial of uh, Jacques Lafayette in 2006. Santo desperately needed a fresh face. In the US, Nathaniel Brown was still fighting his own losing battles. Clearly successful in the construction industry, he was becoming more famously reported for his expanding interest in clean future technologies and a passion for the burgeoning era of 3D printing. Yet, while the public reacted positively to Brown's camera-friendly persona and smooth articulation of the future, industry peers and investors weren't so willing to ignore the cost of such progressive thinking. This cautious response to Brown's billion-dollar daydreams already had the industrial visionary casting their gaze overseas by the time Santo extended their interest. For Brown, the decision to join their board of directors was a short and serendipitous move. Yeah, I'm guessing general computer security here is probably going to be a lot higher than it is at other places. Might want to upgrade my hacking skills. Initiated. We'll see if it's a problem, though. I have like nine multi tools in my inventory. Access granted. Attention, all personnel. This all is all in French. We are clearing the site. Transports are en route. This is all in French. Might as well disable this while I've got the chance. Should I? Security rating 3? Eh, never mind. Too much effort. Oh. Camera was seeing me. I 
I've got some serious technology here. You know what the heck? I'm gonna sh I'm gonna fire this thing. Oh, the button's locked. I can move it. Hey, you in the control room? What the hell are you doing? Moving the crane. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Why? Uh. Because the last person to use this didn't follow proper safety precautions. You almost had a ton of ice fall on someone's head. Shit! Is it safe now? Yeah, should be fine. I just finished testing everything when you started shouting at me. Okay, well, thanks! Don't mention it. <laughs> oh my god, that is the best use of my social enhancer ever. I don't even... I don't even know why I just did that. Is that going to open up a pathway? Like, can I jump on top of it? I have no idea. Looks like I maybe need to do it again for it to connect with whatever I'm seeing there. Oh wait, no, that's where it came from. Never mind. Hopefully they're not going to be angry that I moved it yet again. Nope, 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 we're good. Maybe it's me for me to enter that tunnel? I don't know. So this place is huge. It's uh, two hangars. Four floors each. Oh, and a helibat. Oof. Maybe I should just go up. Oh my god. I'm just gonna close that so I can't fall down there anymore. Yeah, let's see what's up here first. Oh, not much. You know what I might as well spend some of my points on? The ability to mark more people. Not that it's ever much of an issue, but at the moment I can mark 10. Let's make it 25. It's not like I'm lacking praxis. Oh, I think I cleared all my marks when I did that. Lame. Yeah, is there any point in going in there? Perimeter detail reports north side, all clear. What are they doing here? Those things down there look like they're super cool somethings. Bonked my head, that didn't work. Um. I'm not sure what the point of that is. Is this gonna allow me to get somewhere? Oh, oh, oh. I just wanna get back to where I was. Shit. Well, I guess we're down here now. Take them all out, should we? Shall we? Person 
are en route. Right, they said they're clearing the sites. Transport in route. Are they doing an operation, or are they just abandoning the place, or what? Marchenko made it sound like they weren't abandoning the place, even though we know about them here. So I don't think that's happening. What happens if I activate the forklift? Does that just give me a lift up? Oh, that's cool. Little hidey hole. Whoa. I can't wait to talk to this place. Someone just jetpacked around. Let me see if I can take this person out, actually. <laughs> Put him on the workbench. Yep, they're still alive. They're fine. They're kind of jostling back and forth, but... Wouldn't it be funny if, when you get the augment that allows you to pick up strong stuff, it makes you throw bodies further? I doubt it, though. Probably not, right? Whoa. Heck, maybe. I don't know. I don't have that many bio cells. I love their shiny suits. Okay, I think that's... Oh wait, no, there's... Yeah, there's one in there. Actually, two in there. Oh yeah, there's a bunch more I just couldn't see because I wasn't in range. I want to take them all out. Now I wonder... No, those I could definitely shoot. I wonder about the ones with the gold masks, though, that were in the beginning of the game, because I remember trying to shoot them and I couldn't. But they might have just been too far away or something? I don't know. It's, it's very possible they were too far away. This thing does have a limit. You can see the uh, red dot disappears at the extreme end of the room. That means it won't reach. <laughs> oh, I love the slow slump. Inventory full already? Huh. 
Eh, whatever, it's fine. Control, I've got the possible vector online. Perfect. I was a little bit worried the, the camera might be looking when I did that, but it wasn't. Okay, I think I'm pretty safe to check out this area at the moment, so I'm going to do that while I'm here. just deploy a random hatch. Ooh, I'm super low. You know, I have a million crafting. Let's go ahead and make some. They're kind of expensive to make. 120? That is quite a bit. I'd much prefer to buy them because I have way more money than I have crafting parts, but we're not going to run out of crafting parts. It's fine. Hopefully that doesn't get somebody's attention. This one. Whoops. Access granted. Sometimes it just won't let me scroll down all the way with the mouse wheel. I have to grab the actual bar. From Augustus to George. Or Yorge or something. Um, PK's rotated to you this week. Sorry. No one likes it, but there it is. And no pawning it off. <laughs> Get the joke? on someone else this time. It's not fair to the others to bait them into doing your detail by playing them at chess. It's like watching Kasparov play an infant with these mouth breathers. Oh yeah, what's with you and Yegevny anyway? Y or Yevgeny. Saw you two hanging out at the lockers in the box guard tent. You two hiding something in there? Uh, yes, I got your joke. It's more of a pun, actually. Anyways, no problem. I'll get started cleaning in the break room. If you need to know, I'm giving Yevgeny private chess lessons in exchange for computer help. Also, mind your own fucking business. From Augustus to Yevgeny. Hi Yevgeny, I got another one of those strange text strings on my PC again. I've copied it below for you to take a look at. Wait, what the hell? Same source as last time, I'll take care of it. Hmm. If I could copy and paste this, I might try to decode this. But since I can't, I don't feel like typing out every single letter to figure out what this actually says. Did they say site burn will commence in one hour? What does that mean? Is that part of the evacuation? Because that's how long the evacuation is supposed to be. Intel. Really sounds like they're going to get rid of this place, but I don't know. Again, Victor made it sound like that's not what they're going to do. Anomaly 
anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Tomb, I've been running through scenarios and troop formations with Victor for the upcoming mission and I realize that we will be losing almost 20% of our men to the advanced team. Victor's not happy about this. I know you guys are your guys are in strung out shape after Dubai, but we're gonna need whoever you can spare. Victor isn't asking. Of course, I'll check and see how many men we can spare to you. Good luck. Old Blue Eye, aka Victor. Roland, regarding our discussion last night, I'm still not comfortable with troop numbers for Storm Surge. As I said, I won't compromise the advanced team numbers as they are integral to the success of the mission. Proper infiltration and site preparation will make or break us here. I want you to contact BH and tell Tomb to provide us with an additional 25 men from his unit. Tell him, Roland. Don't ask. Dang it. Oh, I wanted to get their attention outside, but not even this massive case, which must weigh like 100 pounds, was enough to get their attention. Oh. Okay, that works. They saw the door. Meg unit possible. Yoink! I think they saw the body, but we should be fine, right? Yeah. It sounded like they're reporting it in, but I guess nobody got it. to relish taking every single one of them out. Perimeter detail reports north north side, all clear. Oh, they're on the roof. Let's go invisible for a second. Oh, come on. Magnet, you hear it too? Nah, I don't want to use a biocell. Vector clean, no sign. And I don't want to take out this person because that person up there might see it. Yeah, look at how fast our energy recharges. I'm so glad I put points Better into that. You like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that one is yours. I try to shoot them in the face, even though they have a mask. Let's try it. Uh. Okay, it just worked, but it took a second. Huh. I shot him in the neck, because I wanted to avoid the mask. It worked, but it was too slow. Can I shoot them directly in the mask? I seriously doubt it. Nope. Yep, so we gotta either shock him or just do a takedown on him up close. Or, I guess, gassing them is an option, but if I'm close enough to do that, then I can just shock him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Woo! Whoa! Didn't expect them to come down. Oh, there's another person nearby. Like the man said, you can hurry, but don't be sloppy. Two of them side by side. That place is colder than people think. We could do a double takedown, but there's like there's like three other people over there that I'm certain would see. I wonder if I can shoot him in the back of the head. Ah, probably not. It's probably not just the mask. I think they have a whole, a whole helmet. Do you know what 
transport your own. Hang on. That's actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's move this body. Cargo 2 is loaded and awaiting secure. Slovensky, report to Cargo 4 for inspection. I'm curious where those go. Probably just to get across the floor of the base without being seen. So I don't feel any great need to use them. Ooh, they have an exposed head. All cargo not loaded by O400 will be terminated in the burn. Yep. Just gotta find their weak point. All cargo not loaded will be terminated in the burn. Is this near where I started? Or did I start? I don't even know. I think so. Yeah, I started here. So yeah, so we're kind of nearing where I came from. Oh, so this way just goes out to the ladder. The other way that I could have gotten up to this place. Okay. They're certainly not letting... Um, they're certainly not uh, letting up on giving me loot. They know this place is a lot harder. Yeah, so that's just a camera over there, so there's no reason to go over there. Let's head back to the main floor. Okay, I think I'm gonna try a distraction to try to separate these people. Oh, you know what? Why don't I just put him down here? There you go. Yeah, you too. Perfect. Oh. I got that person. That works too. I was thinking I'd get the other person by the turret. There is another person by the turret, right? <laughs> oh, I can't close the vent? Is that because their foot's in the way? Move your dang foot. There we go, now it closes. Perfect. Perimeter detail reports west side all clear. Yeah, there isn't a person there. I guess they fixed it or something. Detail report south side all clear. We have time to mark 
plateau for a while anyway. Anyone get the lock on that? Okay, are there any actual people left? I think I maybe have gotten everybody. Yeah, that's every single person. There's some people over there, but they're just in this area. Okay. Well, now we're free to explore. I seriously, like, desperately need bio cells. I love that. Look at that. Look at all that red. <laughs> Alright, let's check out these buildings and see what's around here. Yeah, it looks like pretty much everything's a base security level of three. I think I'm going to nuke this after I get this. Access granted. Orchid potency exceeds expectations. Further examination of the orchid has revealed that it has much has a much lower LD50 than I initially thought. The micrograms per meter dose I prescribed for Talus Rucker was three times what was actually required. Poor man, the pain he felt must have been unimaginable. I am interested to see what effects a lower dose will have on multiple subjects. Can you give me additional subjects for testing? Most likely I will be back in BH when you bring them, but Milan knows what to do. I'll do what I can, and when I bring them, I will only need to know if the outcome of the dose is anything less than death. The amount of pain they feel will be irrelevant to me, Doctor. Oh, that is from Vadim Orlov. Ah. So Vadim was working on the orchid. Greetings, Mr. Orlov. Thank you for your recent order. I'm happy to inform you that it has arrived at our distribution warehouse and is awaiting pickup as you have requested. If you have changed your mind regarding delivery of the shipment, etc., etc., enjoy your champagne, Orlov. Except you can't, because you're dead. I didn't kill you, but certainly isn't a shame that you're dead. Now, this is the building we already checked out, right? So this building, this building, uh, I think pretty much just these two buildings and then whatever these places are, are left to check out. And I think I checked out this one too, yeah, computer's green. This one I didn't though. There are a lot of snacks in here. Newspaper, anything new? Yeah. Earthquakes, man-made menace? This is Salmazdat. Salmazdat investigated last year whether undisclosed geobombs are responsible for funneling earthquake activity to control when and where they will occur. The why remains unclear. Since 1999, according to geological survey data, earthquakes at magnitude 7 and above maintained a steady annual average. Now a reliable informant in the U.S. government tells us it's the less dramatic data, uh, data that is being buried in public reports. Seismic activity below magnitude 4, tremblers, that a lot of people in high-risk areas hardly notice anymore, have increased year on year by a stunning 300%. So what's going on? Are mysterious government scientists really detonating tens of thousands of explosives beneath the earth, or is something else afoot? 
Digging deeper, we unearthed something called acoustic wave theory, first proposed over a decade ago but since rejected by many geologists as untenable. It seems to posit that seismic activity emits acoustic wave energy within certain frequencies that could carry the potential to trigger sympathetic quakes up to thousands of miles from the original epicenter. If true, maybe these so-called geobombs aren't bombs at all. Is that noise you can't hear actually the ground being pulled from under your feet? That is a big, fat, non-article. There's like almost nothing of any interest there. The only thing that's actually interesting is they've increased by 300%. Certainly something that warrants studying, but everything else is just nothing. There's no justice like augmented justice. Prague's overworked police force is reportedly reserving full investigations for priority homicides only. The underlying message is clear murdered as an og in this city, and the only thing investigating your corpse will be rats. But the killing this week of well-known local journalist and augmented woman Angela Gunn forced the police to assign their best, one Detective Montag, an aging veteran scheduled to retire later this year. He's since confirmed that the case is complex with few leads. Good job it's just him, then. As much as we'd like to believe Montag is Prague's elderly answer to Sherlock Holmes, we suspect this case is being filed under Who Cares? Granted. Tommy, when you update the door code, you update the laser grid code as well, right? <laughs> Shit, sorry. 6653. Damn it, Tommy! Yeah, we definitely haven't been in here. Oh, it's electricity inside. For some reason, all these pipes just make me think of the Large Hadron Collider. But, I mean, I don't think it has anything to do with that. Because that's, like, a very smooth loop. It's like a big circle, I'm pretty sure. Whereas these, I mean... Like, that complete right angle bend, that's not what the Large Hadron Collider is about at all. can go in here. Huh. All sorts of vents all over the place. Of course, as always. But yeah, um, I think that's it for interesting stuff on this floor. Yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to continue on to the rest of the facility. And it looks like a good way to get there is going through this tube. <laughs>